Now what I've got here, not that you had to draw it, but what I've got here is just a summary of the question. We've got our two cars, P and Q, and at time t equals zero, they're both together. P's going faster than Q though, so it's going to overtake Q. P's going at 25 meters per second, and Q's going at 20 meters per second. So they're going down this 800 meter road, and we're told that both cars originally moving at a constant speed. But for P, after big T seconds, it starts to slow down at a uniform rate, and uh, it stops here. And for Q, Q travels at a constant speed until at this point where t equals 25 seconds, it slows down at a constant rate and comes to rest. And they both come to rest at exactly the same time. So in order to draw a speed time graph for something like this, what we need to do is just set up our axes, something like this. i would make sure that I've got my units here, t measured in seconds, and we've got v measured in meters per second. t equals zero at this point. Now, let's start with p. Now, for p, it's moving then at a constant speed of 25 meters per second. So, I'll just assume that the 25 is here. We'll do it in red, okay? Now, if it's moving at a constant speed, it's going to be a horizontal line like this. And then we know that at a particular point here, where, say, t equals big T, we'll just mark that down underneath here, okay, big T. We know that it starts to decelerate at a constant rate. So, if it's decelerating at a constant rate, coming to rest at... Uh, this point here, after 800 meters, the graph's going to look something like this. So we'll just label that as P. Now for Q, we'll do Q in green. Q starts off at T equals naught with a speed of 20. So we'll assume that that's where 20 is. And it's moving at a constant speed, so we would have again a horizontal line. But the question is, it's when t equals 25, and where do we stop? Well, we should know that the area under a graph, a speed time graph, represents the distance covered. And that distance got to be the same. So the area under this green graph has got to be the same as the one under the red graph. So I know that this has got to go beyond the red graph, so that it can have the same area. because. After 25 seconds, Q starts to slow down and come to rest after the 800 meters. It slows down at a constant rate, so the graph is going to look something like this. They both finish at the same time here. And this point here is where T equals 25. So I'd mark in 25 there. So you've got something like this kind of diagram. Okay?